procedure gaining popularity in the medical world. And joining us this morning to talk all about it, Dr. Kelly Cunningham to explain what stem cell therapy is all about and how it's being used in sports medicine. Good morning and nice Good to morning. meet you. Yes, welcome. You. And so tell us all about this. It's relatively new. It is. Stem cell therapy and orthobiologics really uh, takes the cells from your own tissues, the own re your own regenerative cells, and applies them to the traditional sports medicine and uh, orthopedic surgery. So it's, a, it's an area gaining popularity. It came from Europe, uh, very popular uh, there, and been used here in the United States for the last several years. And it, it is the future of sports medicine in many ways, I think. Now, you're an orthopedic surgeon. Aren't you taking away your own business? Oh, to a certain extent, but for me, uh, the business of sports medicine is more about healing patients. It's kind of secondary to me whether it requires surgery or not. Uh, stem cell therapy can be used in conjunction with many of the knee and shoulder procedures I've done for years here in Austin. But I think the most exciting thing about it is it doesn't require long down times or long right. recoveries. And so how does it work? You take the stem cells from, from where you were telling me earlier? Generally, you take the stem cells from your own body, the uh, pelvic crest, and these are called bone marrow aspirates, and then you mix those in some cases with platelet factors. And these growth factors have very powerful anti-inflammatory and pro-growth healing factors. And you inject them in the different parts of the body, the tendons, the muscles, and, and often the joint themselves. And let's tell everybody that you sedate the patient before they get that uh, right extraction. <laughs> the, the patient gets the choice. Most patients choose to be sedated. It's yeah, uh, much too. more comfortable, and, uh, and it makes it a, a pretty much painless uh, procedure that you can recover very quickly from. And so how long does it take to actually see and feel the results? For stem cells it can take up to three to four weeks to see improvement. For okay. platelet plasma which is typically involved in, in using uh, the tissue uh, factors more on the muscle and tendon you'll see results as soon as a week or two. Really? Yeah. Okay so just one treatment or is this like a continual Process. Platelet plasma usually requires two treatments. Okay. Stem cell, you can also often get away with excellent results with uh, one treatment every 12 to 18 months. And so when you say excellent treatment, say I have a knee injury and you s inject stem cells in there a couple of weeks, it's feeling better? Is it all better? This is a field of regenerative medicine, but it's fair to say that at this point what we're trying to do is restore function. So we call it more restorative medicine. Okay. You should be feeling better. Uh, typically knee, shoulder, hip, typically in uh, recreational athletes, you see uh, recovery quite quickly. Okay, and so who do you recommend this for then? Well, there's two groups of athletes. There's the very competitive athlete that can get back on the field, the court, the track much quicker, and that's a great uh, advantage for them. But the vast majority of us are recreational athletes, weekend warriors, as it were. Austin's full of those people. Right. And those are the ones that we can get back quicker without surgery. And generally what we also can do is in many cases of arthritis, we can inject the joint for joint pain and oh. prevent or at least delay the need for joint replacement surgery. Very interesting. Does insurance cover this though? Insurance does not routinely cover this. Okay. So we try to use this as an adjunct to insurance covered procedures. It, it can be used in conjunction with surgery if, if that's what's required. But no, at this point insurance is, is still recognizes this as experimental. Okay. And so so how much does a, a single session cost? It all depends on what you need, but typically it's in the hundreds. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining us, Dr. Cunningham, this morning and talking about this. I'm sure it's going to open a lot of people's eyes, especially those who want to avoid surgery. Great. Thank Appreciate you, Appreciate it. And if you would like to learn more about orthobiologics, you can go to the link section of KVU.com.